Good day everyone. Welcome to our virtual class. Today, we will discuss self-learning module 17. Other statistical methods. Before we start, let me share to you our objectives for today. At the end of our discussion, you are expected to use appropriate measures of position and other statistical methods in analyzing and interpreting research data. To measure your prior knowledge about the lesson, let us answer the pretest. Directions Read each item carefully and identify what is being asked. Write your answer on the space provided. Number 1. It is defined as the proportion of scores in a distribution that a specific score is greater than or equal to. I will give you 3 seconds to answer. The answer is data gathering. Number 2. It is a collection of facts or information. I will give you 3 seconds to answer. The correct answer is data. Number 3. It is used to characterize values according to the percentage below them. You have 3 seconds to answer. The correct answer is percentile of group data. Number 4. It is systematic investigation and study of materials and sources in order to establish facts and reach new conclusions. You have 3 seconds to answer. The answer is research. Number 5. It is a process of reviewing data through some predefined processes which will help assign some meaning to the data and arrive at a relevant conclusion. I will give you 3 seconds to answer. The correct answer is data interpretation. Let us answer recap. This part of the module provides a review of concepts and skills that you already know about the previous lesson. Directions. Read each statement and identify what is being asked. Number 1. It is a chart that summarizes value and their frequency. It's a useful way to organize data if you have a list of numbers that represent the number of frequency of a certain outcome in a sample. You have 3 seconds to answer. The correct answer is Frequency Distribution Table. Number 2 The 99 score points which divide the distribution into 100 equal parts so that each part represents 1 over 100 of the data set. You have 3 seconds to answer. The answer is percentile. Number 3. It is used particular useful in relating individual scores to their positions in the entire group. You have 3 seconds to answer. The correct answer is percentile ranks. Number 4. This method is done when a person solicits information from another person. You have 3 seconds to answer. The correct answer is 
interview method. Number five, this method is advisable if the survey requires a series of questions, which the interview method will be very slow to use. You have three seconds to answer. The correct answer is questionnaire method. Now, let us discuss methods of survey data collection. Data gathering is defined as the procedure of collecting, measuring, and analyzing accurate facts or information using standard validated techniques. Collecting of data is an important part of statistics. Data should be collected in a manner that they are accurate and convenient to use. Data is a collection of facts or information. They may be gathered by using the following methods. The percentile of group data is used to characterize values according to the percentage below them. Example Mr. Covey conducted a 50-item summative test in mathematics to his grade 10 students. A score of 35 and above will pass the exam. Arnold, one of the students and his score belongs to the 75th percentile. Should Arnold be glad about his score or not? To answer the question of Arnold, he gathered all the scores of his classmates to determine his pers performance in summative tests among his classmates. The data below shows their scores in summative tests in mathematics. Arnold organizes a table of values using their scores in mathematics. To determine his performance in summative tests among his classmates, he used the percentile of group data. Using the formula of percentiles of group data, which is the Q sub K is equal to LB plus the quantity KN over 100 minus CFB all over F times I and substitute the given. So the 75th quartile is 39.34. Therefore, 75% of the students got a score less than or equal to 36 to 39. Arnold should be glad because his score belongs to 36 to 39 and he passed the exam. And now, it's your time to do the activities. To summarize our lesson, please remember the following. Data gathering is defined as the procedure of collecting, measuring, and analyzing accurate facts or information using standard validated techniques. Data is a collection of facts or information. They may be gathered by using the following methods. The percentile of group data is used to characterize values according to the percentage below them. To integrate a desirable moral value in our lesson, please answer the value. Let us continue our activity by performing the pause test.
Thank you for listening. See you again on our next lesson. Stay safe and God bless.